dear students in the mechanical vibrations the chapter of free damped vibration today we are discussing the topic logarithmic decrement i dr balaj singh brad from yadavindra college of engineering talwandi sabo is presenting the lecture let me introduce first to spring mass damper system with viscous damping we have already discussed a mass is attached to a spring having a stiffness k and damping coefficient c the units of stiffness are newton per meter and damping coefficient is newton second per meter and of course mass is in kgs while deriving let the mass is at position x from equilibrium position and is still moving downwards with the velocity x dot taking this concept and taking equilibrium of forces we derived the differential equation and the differential equation of vibration for spring mass damper system is mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to zero the solution of this differential equation for under damped vibration system is being revised again for under damped system damping ratio zeta is less than unity we already know about it sometimes symbol epsilon is also used for damping ratio zeta again revising damping ratio zeta is the ratio of c damping coefficient to cc critical damping and we derived the relation for cc is 2 times sin root of km or 2m omega omega is here omega and natural frequency which is equal to k by m the solution for under damped system can be written in the form of three equations first is x is e raised to power minus zeta omega t into a cos 1 under root of 1 minus zeta square omega t plus b sin under root of 1 minus zeta square omega t or x is c times e raised to power minus zeta omega t into sin under root of 1 minus zeta square omega t plus phi a phase difference is added similarly we can write the term in cosine in cosine terms the solution in cosine terms x is d e raised to power minus zeta omega t cos 1 minus zeta square under root omega t plus phi t for the present lecture the last solution x is d e raised to power minus zeta omega t cosine of and root 1 minus zeta square omega t plus phi 2 will be used here the product of and root 1 minus zeta square into omega is damped frequency we already know now coming to the topic logarithmic decrement let us first define it it is defined as the natural logarithm of the ratio of any two successive amplitudes on the side on the same side of the mean line and symbol for logarithmic decrement is delta we are showing mathematically in the next slide here again we have shown that there is a spring mass damper system under vibration and its vibration profile for under damped vibrations is shown in this figure let at the starting time initial displacement is x not 
and initial velocity is v naught then the plot takes the profile like this and what we observe that amplitude say first amplitude x1 then after one cycle it is x2 after two cycles x3 after three cycles x4 five cycles x5 and after five cycles x6 it goes on decreasing exponentially and here now the logarithmic decrement is defined as delta is equal to natural log of first amplitude x1 to second amplitude x2 similarly suppose we start from this position then this will be first amplitude and the next amplitude will be maximum amplitude will be x2 or we can write delta is log of natural log of x2 by x3 so this is and for under damped vibration system time period is 2 pi by omega d omega d we discussed is equal to under root of 1 minus zeta square into omega now we again x1 and x2 let the time for x1 is t1 some time and for x2 is t2 of course t2 is larger than t1 by this which is equal to one time period td which is 2 pi by omega d and omega d is under root of 1 minus eta square omega now putting the values of time at time t1 and time t2 to find out amplitudes x1 and x2 in the under damped vibration system we put the values this term has been solved d cancels out in the numerator and denominator and this e when it goes upwards it becomes e raised to power positive zeta omega t2 and when we simplify x1 by x2 is equal to e raised to power minus zeta omega into t1 minus t2 into cosine of on root 1 minus zeta square omega t1 plus pi 2 by cos cosine of on root 1 minus zeta square omega t2 plus phi 2 this equation this is the first equation we have to simplify this equation in the coming slides in the next slide we will be simplifying this term this ratio of cosine terms and we will see that this ratio will become a unit value or 1 and then in the next the very next slide we will get the solution of x1 by x2 now putting time period for the second amplitude is time period for the first amplitude plus time period of the damped frequency putting t2 value t1 plus tt numerator term is cos omega d t1 plus phi 2 denominator t2 becomes t1 plus td plus phi 2 now again denominator term by opening up omega d t1 plus omega d td damped frequency time period is 2 pi by omega d plus phi 2 again opening these terms cosine omega d t1 plus phi 2 by cos 2 pi plus omega d t1 plus phi 2 what we observe is summation of this angle and summation of this angle is same so in denominator we have simply cos 2 pi plus 
the angle which is in the numerator and cos 2 pi plus that angle will be cos of omega d t1 plus phi 2 numerator and denominator will cancel out and solution becomes 1. Now in the next slide we will put this term value 1 in the equation. Now to find out logarithmic decrement from equation 1 we know x1 by x2 is e raised to power minus eta omega t1 minus t2 into cosine terms like this. In the previous slide we have solved that ratio of these two cosine terms is unity. So this equation becomes x1 by x2 e raised to power minus zeta omega t1 minus we put the value of t2 which is minus t1 plus td by solving it x1 by x2 is e raised to power minus zeta omega t1 minus t1 plus td t1 t1 cancels out it becomes equal to e raised to power minus zeta omega td now td is e raised to power minus zeta omega td is 2 pi by omega d and omega d we already know is for under damped system omega d is 1 minus zeta square and root into omega we put this value here and the solution becomes x1 by x2 is equal to e raised to power 2 pi zeta omega by e raised to power 2 pi zeta omega by and root of 1 minus zeta square into omega. Now omega omega cancels out and we have a solution e raised to power 2 pi zeta by a and root of 1 minus zeta square. When we take natural log on both sides, then log, natural log of x1 by x2, as per the definition, it becomes logarithmic decrement delta. And now we have the solution that logarithmic decrement delta is equal to natural log of x1 by x2, which will be 2 pi zeta upon 1 minus zeta square and root. Kindly remember this relation to solve various numericals. In the coming slides, we are finding out the approximate value of delta, which is usually used in the problems. Next, in this slide, we are discussing approximate value of logarithmic decrement. From the previous relation, we have delta logarithmic decrement, natural log of x1 by x2, which is 2 pi zeta upon 1 minus zeta square and root. This is equation 2. Now, in the real life problems of under damped system, usually the damping ratio is very, very small, or for small values of damping ratio zeta say less than 0.3 then 0.3 square will be 0 0.09 and this term becomes almost 1 denominator term is almost equal to 1 so delta is almost approximately equal to 2 pi zeta which is used in the in solving the problems where zeta is less than 0.3 and this equation has been termed as 3. Now the graph shows that when zeta damping ratio is less, less than 0.3 the solution of the two equations delta from second equation and delta from third equations are same. So what we have done for varying zeta we have plotted delta shown by red equation varying zeta showing delta from equation 3 we have shown by dotted blue equation 
what we observe that solution for zeta values less than 0.3 is overlapping it means both the problems give the same solution and to use third equation is easier when zeta value is less than 0.3 so the relations which have been derived till now in this lecture is logarithmic decrement delta is defined as natural log of x1 by x2 is equal to 2 pi zeta upon 1 minus zeta square where zeta is damping ratio for small values of zeta less than 0.3 delta is approximately equal to 2 pi zeta the in this slide we are discussing the logarithmic decrement for n cycles for under damped vibration system so we have under damped vibration profile is there suppose we start from first amplitude x1 after first cycle we get second amplitude on the same side of the main line x2 time taken is one time period after two cycles after two cycles we reach to amplitude x3 after three cycles we reach to x4 after four cycles we reach to x5 and onwards so as derived in the previous slides it can be proved that x1 by x2 is equal to e raised to power delta similarly x2 by x3 is again e raised to power delta x3 by x4 is equal to e raised to power delta and similarly xn minus 1 by xn is equal to e raised to power delta let us multiply x1 by x2 with x2 by x3 with x3 by x4 xn by xn plus 1 and for n ratios for n cycles and all the ratios have having same value e delta e raised to power delta so the solution is e raised to power delta raised to power n so from this what we see is x2 cancels with x2 x3 cancels with x3 x4 with x4 and xn with xn and what we have in the left side will be x1 by xn plus 1 taking natural log on both sides we get n delta is equal to natural log of x1 to xn plus 1 suppose we want to find and then delta is equal to 1 by n natural log x1 by xn plus 1 suppose at the starting time the amplitude x1 is known to us delta logarithmic decrement is known to us we want to know the amplitude after five cycles means 5 plus 1 sixth amplitude first is known we will put a value of n and we will solve this equation and can find out the amplitude after five cycles for different problems and this the topic on logarithmic decrement is co complete and in the coming lecture we will solve some problems on logarithmic on the use of logarithmic decrement thanks